Hi everyone, my name's Julie and um, I'm going to show you how to put one of these together. Um, it's a satchel bag die set, part of the My Memory book from Tonic Studios. And what they've kindly done this time is put full instructions inside your die set. So that is very handy for people who not really sure on how things go together. So um, this is some of the die set and um, this is a little bit more. That piece is the spine bit, that's a pocket. I'll just move that over to one side. Let's get these stamps out of the way. Just pop those. Ooh down there for a moment right as with all tonic boxes and bags and and everything else, and everything else you need to cut two of the base die out and when you've done that you turn it around and glue it on to sew first of all I want to show you these pieces out how you get this to cover that there like that so because this set doesn't come in with a main mat and left of this bit here so if you're using a pattern paper or plain cardstock lay your die down onto your paper or whatever you're using and what you do is draw round the inside of your die like that and then cut it out with a pair of scissors and then it leaves you with um, a mat and layer shape just gives you that couple of mil smaller than what your actual thing is and you can mat and layer with it. All right. The other thing is, I wanted to show you how to do spine. So can you see on there? There's all these little. Um, I don't know if I can. Yeah, that's it. There's all these little um, score marks. Now you've got a thin one and two thick ones, and a thin one two thick ones thin and all the way down so the thin ones are going to be valleys your thick ones are going to be mountains thin one is a valley and another thin one is a valley okay your two thick ones are a mountain so they come up together so that when you've got all the way through and you've glued them you glue these two pieces together like this and I think if lots of you have done like the memory books you'll know what I'm talking about I think I've done something like this before and you should end up with something like this okay once you've glued all those thicker pieces together and you've got your flat bit your thinner bits because that makes your gaps in between all right right let's get started so let me put my glasses on so i can see my score lines we're going to glue the what did i say blocked up glue not block blocked up glue it is really boxed up as well oh hold on running gym about for glue <coughs> let's try this one oh, I was going to say don't say again I can't see there. 
and I've topped it up. And put one on top of the other. Just give yourself a little time just to wriggle it about, get it in position. Bring it up to your score lines, but not over, otherwise, um, you won't um, be able to fold up. So, then those come up there like that. And then that one, these ones be coming up there like that. So, which is this is going to be my front because I've got the join at the back there. Okay, you must remember that. Right now, before I do that, I want to um, put all the bits and pieces on first. So I've already cut out these, and that's going to go on there. That's going to go on there. These are going to go on the outside. I've got one more of those to cut. So we're just going to glue these on first. I think it's best that if you want to do decorations, do it now whilst it's flat so you can give it a good press. The dark blue cardstock is um, 240 and the white and silver, the white is 216, it's bright white cardstock and I think the silver is 250 which, the, um, which is Tonic Studios. So let's just get that one, oops, nearly the wrong way up. I have to move that along a bit. That's it. Get that on there. Let's put this one on as well so we can get that one on. And put that on like that. If you get any glue squidging out, just give it a quick wipe off with a cloth or your finger. Okay. Now, where's that other piece? It's a, there's the bits I'm on about. I want to explain this. So you cut two of this of this shape, one for your mat and this one's going to be for your let and then you put your detail die on top of this one and you, you'll get that. Let's grab that detail die out of there. If you're already experienced in doing this, you'll know what I'm talking about. But there's not, there's always some people um, who might be watching who have never done like things like this before. So I'm going to use my mini little machine. I know it goes through there. I do like this little mini machine. Now, I think I might have to invest in a little, another little one. Let's just bring it back for because the first time I've done it, it didn't um, cut too well. I think it probably is the plates. Right, let's have a look. Yep, that's cut through. So now we're going to make a mess. They're just going to fall out of there. 
just give it a little wriggle I can feel um, glue on my mat um, pokey tool just to get the last bits out just poke those out One final look, make sure there is none in there. And just put a thin layer of glue all the way around. And I just um, dab on the uh, on the cross members a little bit as well, just to. And if I think I've got too much on, I'll just lay it down on my mat, give it a little press, and line it up. And press down. There you go. So that's that one. And then for the inside, I cut um, some pattern paper out to match the outsides as well. Let's move that out of the way. So we'll put those in as well. This one I'm making for my dad. Um, we like going to vintage rallies and um, vintage car shows and things like that so um, I'm going to put photos of those in for him for the in this one so that's why it's a, a blue colour so this is going to come Around this way. So we need to put one on. We need to put, put one on the one on there. Sorry. Can't see nothing like that, can you? Let's just put that up. over there. Too much glue on that top end. Right, that's that. Now. I like this to go on my back edge like that so that on the outside so that when you look inside you can't see it and then I put a piece of um, paper on the back so you can't see this join okay so that's what we're going to do now bringing it up to the score line but not over Can you see just check make sure that goes over yeah that's it Okay, so now that's going to come over to the front. Okay, I think we'll put these in next to give these a little chance to. So these are going to be your spines to 
put your little pockets in. And I'm using wet glue for this because um, if it's going to hold like memories in, things that you've done, I think it is better than using the red liner. Now, on the inside of this, I'll just show you, on the outside, there's a line and it does come through, you can see it onto the reverse of the um, card. So that's just going to come into there like that. Okay, I'll do the other one. So you'll need two of those little ones, what I've shown you with the white. So you just put some glue on these flat pieces. I just like to smooth it out with my finger. Then bring it over again. And you can, when you get up close to it, you can just see those faint markings where they've got to be. And they line up perfectly, really. There you go. Right, that's all that done. Let's turn this over. That's my bag. So this is where these come in. So you can put that on there to hide that, that join there. The longest part is cutting everything out. That's going to be your longest part. And I think go over there. That comes round that way. Yeah. That's it. And that covers up that um, join you got there as well. Right. So now I'm going to turn it over. And I've got a piece for here. And a piece there as well. So it's the same die as what I cut the... Um, detail into on the outside with the white and silver and I've just cut it with pattern paper actually I don't want that one to go on yet this one will sorry on there. Um, one of these to go there. That way around. Couldn't see the score line. Just bring that down a little bit. Now I've got another one for there as well.
and these do go in a certain way as well because um, if you turn it round that way you'll find it'd be too big so they do go in a certain way I'll try to match up the paper you see <laughs> right so that's going to come over there like that now the reason I didn't do that one I'm just going to try and rub that glue a little bit flat that's it is because you've got these two little pieces which make the um, closures for the front so they're going to come and sit on here like that so you get one there and there's two little notches there where you're going to put them into all right so I'm going to do that next better put these on I said I want it, want it that way, don't I? Really put it in the wrong way round then. Might be to bring it up a little bit and over. That's it. Let's do this one. Right, and then the piece that I put glue on, I'm now going to put glue on again because then that will cover up where those are and it just um, reinforces as well. going to come over onto the front like that. A little bit glue there. Right. Uh, the next thing is this piece is up, I think. So these ones if I bring that up there, like bend that out of the way. If I bring that up there, like that, these need to go on that way round so they fit through the little slit. Okay, don't put them on that way round, they have to go that way so they go through the little slit there. All right. And all the way round, and in the middle as well. Just make sure you've got it really covered because this bit is is going to be a bit that's going to be. Um, used a lot I've got that round the my brain now yep so now we need to do this one
so it's coming all the way around the outside and then some down the middle Okay. Yep, that's the way right way round. Right. Now we're coming on to um the little pocket bits now. So I've done two because I'm gonna put one there one there and one on the front so I've already um, done those two and I thought I'd um, show you how to do this as well um, so it's mounting there's three little score lines valley And a mountain. Okay. And that's it. I'll bring those, bring those together. What I like, what I like to do is it's just uh, make, just reinforce these score lines. Just makes it easier for gluing. That's it. Right. Oh, come on. That's it. Just hold that for a bit. Okay, that's those pockets done. Now, one, two, three. Now these are the inside pockets, what are gonna sit onto these here. So you need two of this shape, or cuts out. And you need to bend over these little score lines to make your glue tab. Can you see them? Yeah, there you go. So you're bending those over. And again, I like to burnish with my this is all of my thing and on that do that again so it makes them nice and flat easier for gluing put some glue on well, I don't know what it's like where you are today but it's hot in the UK here today again well where I am And I thought it, they said it was going to be cooler, but it doesn't feel cooler. And you put the two together and make your little pocket. Pinch it together. So put my glasses on so I can see. I haven't got that lined up very well, have I? Ooh, uh, There we go, and do the other side. Give it a good press. That's that. I'll put that one in last, give that a time to um, 
dry off a bit. Oh, I don't want to use those dries. Right. What I've done the first time round, I started at the front and I thought, well, that's a silly thing to do. So I think it would be better if you went from the back and stuck them in. So what I'm going to do is bring that round. I'll just bend these over. Put a bit of glue on these. And slide a pocket on. Just come in. Give it a good press. That's it. I think that's easier than trying to do it like I've done it last. Fancy trying to do it it to the front first instead of the I think I'll put too much glue on that one. I suppose this bit is a bit awkward. I'm just gonna spread that glue out a little bit. I might want to got too much glue on there. Right. That's it. They go in quite easily, don't they? This is just a basic one, um, but you can do them in bigger sizes as well. But I've got a lot of um, photographs to print off now. So I've done, I've done one in a different colourway. Um, I'll show you that in a minute because I haven't done the little photo holders for this one yet but I'll show you I'll whip the ones out for the one I have done right let's put this one in this is easier doing it this way around instead of trying to do it from the front and trying to see This one should be ready now, shouldn't it? We're nearly there, folks. Not far now. Right, that's got all those done so that when this comes up and you've got these together and that together these are do up now but hold that in place that hold that in place just pop that Go down there right the other pit so you can see where I'm going with now the, the other bit I want to to um, show you is this is oh, this is coming on the front here okay and I've put it like that so I can see where I need to things to go. And um, let's have a look. So I wanted to show you what happens when you cut this out. 
so that's come out of there that's come out of the um, silver one and that's my blue one so I've cut it three times and um, so I don't want the white and I don't want the silver so the white is going to come onto this little square and it all comes out the one die so you're going to have to cut it three times if um, you want to decorate it like this you've also got um, is it with hugs and well, I don't know I think it's hugs and love so you've got two sentiments on there openly and hugs and love I think let's have a look love and hugs hugs and love whatever next right so we're just going to glue this one down on here then put it on top of the silver just take a bit of glue off And that's going to sit on there. That's going to go in the middle, so I really need to know where that's going to come. So it does need to be about there in the centre, doesn't it? Right, so I'll take that off. I think I should have put my butterflies on first actually. Well, I don't know if they are butterflies, but they look like butterflies, don't they? Um, those closures. You get two sort of closures. You get a buckle with um, with it as well. So um, they need to come up that way. So they need to go on there. So it's the same procedure again. Make sure you've got a lot of glue around the outside down through the middle because this is the part that's going to be open and closed a lot The other one. So when you're cutting out you'll need four of these if you use these type of closures but if you're doing the buckle you'll only need two for the sides. I think this makes a cute little thing makes a cute little satchel that's going to go into there get the glue off my fingers make sure that's glued in there then this pit you can in lay back in 
and there now. Then you've got your little glue tabs around here. Then I think I'll show you what I've done on the other one on the inside. I'm just gonna just have a look, make sure you can see. Yeah, you can. So I'm just gonna bring that down to where I think that should be stay there so I'm just going to undo it now I can press from behind. That's it. Okay. So I'm not going to do it up, but that'll come down there like that because um, it's only just been glued and then that's your satchel die. Oh, that's not. You do get this little die, which is like this. So um, if you do a valley, then a mountain, then the same, a valley and a mountain, and that gets you a little handle. So you can put up on the top here, okay? Right. Let's show you the inside of this one. This is the previous one I've done. So it's the same principle where you've got the two catches on the side, but this time I've done the little buckle. And what I've done is I've put some hook and high um, little catches on the back, and then um, I've made like a little thing there to go inside of there and this is an idea from um, Louise Sims I see her and I've made a little trifold one there to put little things on and um, you get the die for these and these little tabs here so those that go in the middle um, let's see here it is So it'd be that one there and that goes inside your little pocket and these little tabs uh, are that one there okay but the other little um, foldy up pieces I've done um, those ones I just measured and I've got one for the front as well so you've got a trifold one there to put photographs in but I haven't decorated or anything yet because um, that's how far I've got and um, when I've printed off photos I'll be decorating them then so I hope um, this has helped and explain how you get the matte layer pieces and how you do the um, spine for your little pockets to go on um, and that just closes up like the other one there's the little handle on the top and that piece there is um, on the front of on the front of your die set because I, I don't know which design team member done that, but that's how I attach the buckles on. And there is a picture on the front of the die set. Um, 
which shows you how to do that there look and I've just shown you how to do this one okay so I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, can't wait to see your makes bye bye for now